it's really a shame that I didn't really get really into WWF until late 91. So I missed WrestleMania 4, which probably should have been the answer. WrestleMania 3, okay. But, you know, you couldn't really root for him because he was the bad guy. You want to be rooting for Steamboat for that one, so that's not... Although it would still be a good memory, but I didn't see that one live either. The last really great match he had in WWF was probably uh, his rematch with Ultimate Warrior at SummerSlam 92, and that kind of gets forgotten because of all the other stuff that happened in SummerSlam 92, but that was a great match. It ended up being a... was it a double countout, I think? But they were fighting over whose corner was Mr. Perfect going to be in, and Flair got interfered. But still, at a time when you wouldn't expect Ultimate Warrior and Savage to have a near four-star match, they did. SummerSlam 92 was great. But during the recapping phase, that dude was crazy, man. His interviews were awesome. Actually, it was before recapping, but it was still WCW. His feud with Diamond Dallas Page really elevated Diamond Dallas Page into a serious main eventer. And they had some awesome matches and some awesome promos. The thing I like about Savage is because he had that Slim Jim sponsorship, snap into it, maybe a favorite memory too. Snap into it! He always had to have the main event at Halloween Havoc because Slim Jim sponsored it. So somehow he always finagled his way to the main event, even if you hadn't seen him for months uh, in WCW. So that was cool. I've talked too long. I have a lot of memories. I don't have one favorite one. I'm pretty sad that he's gone. It's hard to believe. It's just been too much death lately.